You're not losing muscle because you're aging. You're losing it because your body shut down the construction site. Inside every single muscle you have is a hidden room, a repair shop that keeps you strong, mobile, and powerful. It's called the MPS room, muscle protein synthesis for short. And if that room stays shut, it doesn't matter how much protein you eat or how often you work out, your muscle will vanish. Let me take you inside the MPS room and show you how to flip the switch on and keep you strong for life. Inside every muscle, you have this special room where muscle gets repaired and rebuilt. It's called the MPS room. Whether this room is working or shut down depends on three things. Number one, workers. This room must have workers to put the Legos together to help rebuild and repair muscle tissue. Okay, Legos, the amino acids, the raw materials that are broken down from protein. We eat protein, they break down into amino acids. We're gonna call those Legos in our example. The red Lego leucine is the one that's gonna turn the light switch on. Turn the light on and tell the foreman, mTOR, guess what? Start the workers working. And all of a sudden, muscle starts to build and repair and then the generators, the motor units, the power your muscle fibers need so that they can activate. So let's walk through these because you must understand muscle protein synthesis. First, the workers. Muscle repair and growth is absolutely critical and to be optimal, we need the right amount of workers in the room. Your muscle is always breaking down and needing repair, even if you're not working out. So inside the MPS room, workers rebuild and strengthen your muscle every single day. More workers equals what? More repair and more growth. Great, so if the MPS room is shut down, your muscles shrink and weaken over time. Workers need three things to do their job. They need one, fuel, protein, to break down in these amino acids, these raw materials, these Legos, so they have something to rebuild protein with. Two, they need energy. They're gonna get from the motor units. They need power to keep working. And then three, they need the lights on. Leucine, or getting to the leucine threshold, two and a half to three grams of leucine per meal. Without leucine, the workers can't start, nor will the lights go on in the room. So if any of these three things are missing, the MPS room shuts down and muscle loss happens. So this whole, you need 30 grams of protein a meal, that was a recommendation. It is simply an estimate, a way to figure out how much protein you need to hit the leucine threshold. That's all it ever was. Because if you had 50 grams of protein from collagen or 50 grams of protein from shrimp, both of which are very low in leucine, you still wouldn't turn the light switch on in the MPS room. You still wouldn't contact mTOR, the foreman, and tell the workers to start. So even with 50 grams of protein, the light switch wouldn't go on. It was an estimate. What you needed to do is hit the leucine threshold of two and a half to three grams per meal. So once you get to that level, leucine in a single meal, then the light switch flips on, the foreman shows up and tells the workers, guess what, start building and repairing muscle tissue. Without that signal, all the Legos just sit there at the table. Nothing gets built. All your muscles stay in maintenance or even worse, breakdown mode. So what we're trying to do is have greater muscle protein synthesis than muscle protein breakdown. Simple. The generators, your motor units, your muscles don't activate on their own. They need power. Motor units are like generators that send power to your muscle fibers. If a generator shuts down, the muscle fiber it controls stops working and disappears. So every muscle has three different types of muscle fibers, each powered by a different size generator. That's what you have to come to understand. So type one fibers that you hear about, they're smaller. They need a smaller generator. They're built for endurance. They're used for walking, yoga, light cycling, light weightlifting, those type of things. They're powered by small, fuel-efficient generators that last a long, long time. These fibers don't disappear easily, but they can shrink if they're not used. Type 2A fibers, also known as fast twitch. These are medium generators. They're built for strength and power. They're used for strength training, weightlifting, moderate sprints, those type of things. They are powered by medium-sized generators that require more energy. But if they're not used regularly, these fibers will shrink and they will weaken. And then of course, the other fast twitch fiber, the type two X fibers. These require large generators. They're built for explosive power, but they need a lot of energy. They're used for sprinting, jumping, quick bursts of speed and max effort lifts. They're powered by the largest, most powerful generators, but they're also the very first to shut down if they're not used. If these fibers don't get used, the body says, get rid of them permanently. That'll make us infinitely more efficient if we don't have to keep sending energy that way. This is how frailty happens, because type two fibers start to go first, making people weaker and slower as they age, because your body is an adaptation efficiency machine. It only keeps what it thinks it needs, 
If you stop using a certain muscle fiber, the body decides, fine, it's not needed and shuts it down to save energy. That's why it's so efficient. This is why frailty happens. It's not just aging, it's a lack of stimulation. So what happens if you stop using your largest generators? If you stop sprinting and doing heavy lifting, your biggest generator, the Type 2X, will shut down. They're gone. You lose the ability to move quickly and react to falls. This is why older adults who don't train lose strength and balance so fast. Remember, you lose three times the amount of fast twitch muscle and slow twitch muscles starting at the age of 40. So how do you keep your MPS room running and prevent frailty? Well, there's numerous ways. Strength training, heavy lifting. Why? It keeps the power grid running and it sends workers to the MPS room. Sprints and explosive movements does what? Prevents the large generators from shutting down and disappearing in general. Zone 2 cardio, just as important. Zone 2 cardio keeps the wiring in the fuel system healthy so that you can do more sprints, so that you can last longer and have more energy. Protein recovery is going to provide the Legos and the materials you need for the workers inside the MPS room to put these Legos and these building materials back together to build new proteins. If you don't use it, you will lose it. That's what you need to remember about the body. If you don't activate your muscle fibers, your body will get rid of them. But if you train the right way, you stay strong for life. This is not just aging, it's your body adapting to what you're doing every day. The body is an adaptation efficiency machine. If you want to stay strong, mobile and independent, you must train the right way. Lift weights, that keeps your medium and large generators running. Do sprints and explosive workouts that prevents the large generators from shutting down. Do zone two cardio, steady state cardio, that keeps the fuel system working so your generators don't die. And then of course, protein recovery, that feeds the workers so that they can repair the muscle. Remember, muscle isn't lost with age, it's lost with inactivity. The difference is what you choose to do today and it will have a profound difference on how you live tomorrow. Mindset doesn't shift by accident. It takes repetition, exposure, and the right voices in your feed. Subscribe, drop a comment, and stay connected.